Parada. Where are we going now? Uh, we will go to the headquarters of Gurukul, to the Gurukul campus. Amra gore no guru kul, Amra gore no guru kul. Which side we will go? We will go to the towards the south. And uh, this is uh, we are now sitting in the central Anandnagar. It's called Madhya Anandnagar. You know, Anandnagar is composed of uh, twelve subsections. They are like mini Anandanagars. Like they have been given names like Kaushiki Anandanagar, uh, Bhairavi Anandanagar, um, Bhavani Anandanagar, Tarun Anandanagar, Arun Anandanagar, Maloy Anandanagar, Shyamal Anandanagar, Sekat Anandanagar, Gopal, Mohan Anandanagar and Gopal Anandanagar. So that uh, towards the south, only about 10-15 minutes walk from here, is the Gopalanandanaga. And that is the, the site of the university headquarter campus where we will be building the rural medical college and also the administrative uh, headquarters will be there. In 1964, the, the first education institution was started, AMIT, Ananda Marga Institute of Technology, which is, uh, if you see those buildings there, that road is called AMIT Road, AMIT Sarani. Sarani means road. So if you go there straight, and at the end, uh, there now a new complex has come up called the uh, uh, Baba's Memorial Complex, and a new dam has been built. So that was the first site of the AMIT. And then, Two years later, in 1966, the degree college was established. And during that period, also the primary schools and the high school was also started. Post-primary school, high school, then degree college. And that was just the beginning. And since then, there are more than 50 schools in this entire area. And uh, another high school has come up in the western side. Uh, in Jharkhand, it's called uh, um, in Karachatar. That has about 700 students also. So, uh, all the children which you see here, they all have been educated in our schools. So they are very sympathetic. And I was very surprised just the other day, I met a young boy who has a BSc in agriculture and he's going to do his MSc and PhD from one of the villages here, Guridi village. And uh, he was a product of our, uh, our high school here. I think that uh, our, uh, you know, educational program which gives emphasis on ecology has uh, already entered into the veins of the children who are growing up in this area. Uh, actually, most of the uh, planning for Anandanagar, uh, Baba waited until 1988 and 89. In those two years, he used to spend almost 22 hours per day on giving the detailed um, landscaping and the planning of Anandanagar. And uh, it is compiled in the 16 registers which were written by Asimanandji's in handwriting. And I have been able to decipher some of that information. And I discovered that this is a gold mine of wealth of information of how to build a rural township which is agricultural based and which contains um, the potentialities of nature are being tapped, you know, through that planning. So, um, and that would be the work of our, our headquarter campus because Baba, he gave 213 agriculture research centers which will be directly supervised by the Anandmarg uh, Agricultural College and the Anandmarg headquarters here at, in Chakradhuri. We call it Chakradhuri means it is the hub. So, uh, so there, are, there are education institutions like Sanskrit Vidya Peet, Fine Arts College, Music College, Homeopathic College, Ayurvedic College, Electro-Homeopathic College, uh, Veterinary College, 
textile institute, a teachers training college, you know, they are spread out in this entire area uh, of 525 square kilometers, which is bigger than the size of Singapore. Then the, the Chakadhuri itself the, uh, is, is about 11 acres of land and there are all types of trees there. There is wood apple, there is neem, there is sagun, which is the forest trees, you know, they have become quite big. They were planted 20 years ago and now they are quite big. So uh, now we are going to that campus where we will see, you know, what's going on. We are now at the Gurukul Chakradhuri campus at the gate, at the south uh, west gate of the, of the campus and uh, the first task in this project has been to uh, organize the security of this place because there are you know very precious trees which have been planted here 20 years ago and they have now grown up and it's like a looks like a forest inside but they are very precious trees and then um, here we are uh, need to secure the the boundary wall uh, so that uh, you know the cows and sheep and you know and also you know when you start the work you keep uh, keep cement and things like this so you need to provide some security there and staff quarter so there is electricity uh, already has been approved and uh, they just have to come and put the transformer and then there is a well which has already been uh, we constructed many years ago and uh, the piping has to be laid for that uh, for the water so when we have electricity we have water we have the uh, security from all sides we have the staff quarters then uh, we can begin to finish uh, the construction of the headquarters which is like a round circular structure because chakra means wheel so the whole building is like a wheel and it will be of two two stories and there'll be a senate hall the, for the for the meeting of the university you know uh, officials it provides the the space for many educational activities to take place there will be also a small auditorium inside the building and uh, there will be classrooms, there will also be administrative offices and uh, of course uh, the office of the Chancellor will be here also. And uh, now they just started a few weeks ago and it's a big work because to <laughs> encircle 10 acres of land with the boundary wall, you know, 8 feet boundary wall and uh, uh, you know, it's, it costs also and uh, so that's what we are in the process of organizing. These are our uh, women from our nearby villages. Uh, they, they come every morning and they help. This is Mahesh. He is a, a volunteer and he has come here to help with this, um, uh, the taking care of this project. 1998, it was just a barren piece of land. There was not a single tree here. So all the trees that you see here at the forest, they all have been planted by us. Construction had started almost 20 years ago, but it had to be stopped at that time. And now we are uh, re going to uh, redo or complete what had been started. Dada, it's such a huge project and probably it will cost like huge amount of money. Where are you going to take money from? Well, um, you know, our uh, we don't take any money from the government for none of Anandanagar development has been done with government money. It is the grassroots, the people who are devoted, who are interested in the, in the idea, they are contributing. So it's going to be, we, are, we have started the fundraising campaign and we are encouraging everybody, to, according to their capacity, you know, let uh, thousands of people contribute small amounts rather than only one or two big sponsors who say, okay, we spend $300,000, $400,000 and you complete the building. No, we want it to be built with the contributions of many people. So we have a registered society, it's called Ananda Marga Gurukul, and we are also registered in the United States, we are registered in Sweden, we are registered here in India, and uh, so people can contribute according to their capacity uh, through the channels, and uh, 
and 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 everything it be transparent and and you know the director master here he is supervising the construction with his staff and with his people amra gore no guru tul amra gore no guru tul kene dalu ke daniye do bo jyoti ti kuri tul gore no guru tul amra gore no guru tul kene dalu ke daniye do bo